It's Atlanta's only hip-hop station, Hot 1079 and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your boy B. High Radio Shouting, man. I got a young gunner stepping in this thing, man. Going by the name of Issa. Some folks might even call him King Issa. Yeah. Tell me about it, homie. What's good? Hey, what's going on, man? I appreciate y'all having me, man. I'm just, you know, blessed right now. I'm down oh, here really? 7.9 with the homie, man. We in here. We in the building. Hot 107.9. What's going on? Man, nothing much. Now, let's tell talk me, business, man. Man, let's talk about <laughs> it, man. I mean, tell me about this new mixtape, King yeah, yeah. Issa, that's on deck. Yeah, man, King Issa is the new mixtape, my latest mixtape, hosted by DJ Outlet. We shot it on with DJ Outlet. That's right. And I got a, um, another version of it hosted by my personal DJ, mm -hmm. DJ Key. It's on live mixtapes. You can get it from live mixtapes or, or um, that pit plug. Mm -hmm. And uh, so go cop that. Make sure you check me out. But, um, yeah, the mixtape, a lot of people was wondering, like, why I would come out with a mixtape, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, just calling myself King Issa. Even like my label was like, I don't think, I don't think you should come out calling yourself King. It's a little arrogant. You know, you don't mm -hmm. want people to turn out to you like, wow, what made this dude think he the king? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that just gave me all the more reason for me to want to call the <laughs> mixtape King Issa. You know what I'm saying? So it was something that the label didn't really approve of. But you know, we went with it though. I feel like I always speak stuff into existence. People like, what makes you think you the king? And I feel like if you listen to the mixtape, you can really understand why I'm calling myself King Issa. You know what I'm saying? Just lyrically and just, you know, all around. And I know it's a lot of people that's calling themselves king right now, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel like it wasn't just one king in the world. So I feel like if I'm in the lane, I can conquer that lane. So I'm just going to conquer that, that king lane, even at the age of 17 years old. Already. So, now, I mean, off that King Issa, what are some of the bangers on there that we need to be looking out for? Now, you got some, you got like, if you listen to my mixtape, like even my Back to the Future mixtape was my first debut mixtape. That's like, right. My mixtapes be all over the place. I think that's what makes me different. As an artist, like, mm -hmm. I don't have, like, a specific style. Like, a lot of people always ask me, like, I always get tongue twisted when people always be like, so what's your style? Because mm -hmm. I don't really know, like, what my style is. It just depends on what, how I'm feeling at the moment. But if you listen to my mixtape, it's like, my style, my styles is all over the place. So I have, like, club records, then I have serious records, then I have personal records, then I have records for the girls, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, like, all over the place. So, but the bangers off the mixtape, the radio records off the mixtape is Tag and Big Old Booty. Tag is the records um, produced by Sunny Digital, same dude that did, you know, Rags. Salute Sunny, that's my dog. Like, yeah. Shout out to the homie Sunny. So okay. that's going to be, like, actually the record, that that record, the label loved it so much, they're going to make that, like, my first viral single. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just shot a big video for that in our last, so... And the other records featuring the homies Travis Porter, which is always also signed to Sony RCA, oh, yeah. and it's called Big Old Booty. A lot of people know about that record. It's real, <laughs> it's real big on the internet. So you know that's a record. That's a record that was bought to me, and I just fell in love with it. And I had to call my mom, mm -hmm. make sure I can get that approved to do that Big Old Booty record. Cause, <laughs> you know what I'm but I changed it into like a fun song. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear it, it's like not inappropriate. It's just like it's a big radio record, and I think like you know with time, this song is really gonna blow up. It's gonna be big. So. All right, now, I mean, tell the city about yourself. Those that don't know where you're from, I mean, yeah. where you go to school, that I mean, where, what more about Issa? What's happening yeah. with it? So, so, for those who don't know, never heard about me, I'm Issa. Um, I'm from, I'm originally from Washington, D.C. I live in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, I was raised kind of in Atlanta, I guess, because, you know, I went to Towers High School. Mm -hmm. I, I also went to Grady High School for a year. Mm -hmm. And um, throughout my whole high school years, you know, I actually was homeschooled for 11th and 12th grade because mm -hmm. of the music, you know, I had to come, kind of come out of school. But luckily, I was able to participate in this homeschooling program, mm -hmm. which I get to go to school and participate in all the events. But still, when I'm out of town and I'm busy and I got stuff to do, I can do my classes online. So just like last week, I went up to the school just because I had some free time and I keep up with my friends with the classes. And yeah. I did some of my tests and all that stuff. But, the, you know, when I'm out of town, you know, they gave me the privilege where I can still do my work online. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can still participate in prom. I can still do graduation. And all that, so it was just a blessing. I can. I mean, you, you know said you just had a prom a little yeah. while ago, though. I mean, tell last me about weekend, that. Last weekend I had prom. Man. Okay, how was it? I mean, did you come dressed as King Issa or what? Man, I, yeah, I got. It. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get you some pictures so you can put like right here. Yeah. In this interview. So okay. I, yeah, I gotta see the pictures. Like I killed them. Man. <laughs> I'm talking about I killed them. Like uh -huh. I rolled my slacks up. I had the spiked out chucks on them. <laughs> 1965 Bentley pulled up. Uh. I killed them at prom, like for real. I can already. Once in a lifetime thing, man. I had to do a bit, so bitch, I wish I could relive that night out, man. Mm -hmm. It was like a once in a lifetime thing, like, yeah. Bitch, shout out to my day, too. That was real. I had a lot of fun. Already. Now, I mean, tell me about being a young guy having that deal at RCA and how it affected your life. And how did you even go about getting the deal so young? Yeah, like, um, I'm signing to RCA Sony Records. That I've been signed in for like a year and a half, going on two years now. I'm mm -hmm. 17. I signed in when I was 16. Mm -hmm. Just turned, just like, just turned 16. Mm -hmm. When I signed the deal, because I remember I had like a birthday slash um, signing party, so 
I've been there for almost two years now. I'm going on 18. I've been 18 in September. But that situation came about through my production label that I was signed to before that, and which is Crown World Entertainment, which mm -hmm. also has um, Jacob Lattimore, mm -hmm. which had that like a Mar record that I was featured on. Mm -hmm. So um, that 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 kind of came about. You know, Jacob kind of opened the door. He was signed through there through Wayne Williams, who signed him, and then um, the CEO Cersei, who was um, the CEO of the production label, bought me into the label. Cause one of the A and R's, the same A and R that, that signed Jacob, seen the mm -hmm. video with me and called him. Was like, I hope you ain't keeping nothing from me, man. <laughs> so um, a couple weeks later, I flew out. Um, they they was Jive back then. They just changed over to RCA, mm -hmm. and so I called them Jive, and they was uh, they flew me out there. A couple weeks later, um, I did a big showcase in front of all the A and R's, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know I didn't know if they wanted to sign me dead right on the spot. A couple mm -hmm. weeks later, I got the call that they, the deal was gonna go down. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple weeks after that. The deal went down, and you know it's just been history ever since. But I just been you know working and grinding. You know mm -hmm. we just been really grinding like ourselves. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. just to build my fan base and all that. And I'm just now you know the label is really just now getting behind me. You know what I'm saying getting behind the single and getting behind this mixtape. You know what I'm saying really believing in me now. Mm -hmm. and, you know because I feel like you know me and my team have showed and proved ourselves that you know we're ready. Like I have the fan base. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and I have people like you know y'all support me. So that's you know, right. Why can't I do it, man? I mean, what are some of the struggles and obstacles that you face trying to accomplish these goals, man? Man, so many struggles. Like, man, y'all wouldn't even imagine. Like, I just think I need to have like a day, a day to day mm -hmm. thing that I put out because it's like so much stuff mm -hmm. that goes on behind the scenes of music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That people just don't even see. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Even at the beginning stages of my career, all people see is like my videos, and you know, people might get a little some a little personal sometimes. You know, I put stuff on YouTube, but people don't really see the real, real stuff. Or like what goes down in my everyday life. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? With my family and everything. Like it just gets real crazy. So the struggles, like I can sit there and talk to you about that all day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the thing that I like to talk about when I when it comes to to having a deal, because a lot of people think that when you get a record deal. Like you automatically, you know, you quote unquote you on, or you know what I'm yeah. saying? You got um, you got money, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much I get that. Like, oh, you mm -hmm. got it, you got it now. Can mm -hmm. I get on? Put me on. <laughs> and I still be like, people don't believe me. People think I'm just trying to, you know, I'm changing or whatever. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny when I be like, I'm still trying to put myself exactly. on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a fight every day, like with the label, man. Like, yeah, holding their attention. Like, it don't mm -hmm. matter how much of a star you are, how good your music is, man. If you come in here. If you come into the label and you don't have a name for yourself yet, mm -hmm. it's hard making mm -hmm. a name because you don't realize like they got other artists. They got Chris Brown, they got R. Kelly, mm -hmm. they got Pink, they got yeah. the, the list goes on of how many other artists they have to focus on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So little old me coming in there, of course, you know what I'm saying? They signed me because they felt like I was a star and I had the potential to be big, mm -hmm. but they not just gonna focus all their attention on me. So it's like we doing this. Like I work harder in this last year and a half than I've ever worked in my life. Now, music. when you speak of work, I mean, what are some of the things that you are actually doing? Work, man, like, the whole, my whole family, like, you know, like, my, since I had this deal, my whole family's life has changed. It's kind of like, I feel bad sometimes because, like, the whole, my whole family revolves around this music. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of around me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of my mom, every day she's up from the time she wakes up to the time she goes to sleep. My dad, every morning, like, every single day they focus on, you know, you know, on the internet, making sure, you know, any bookings coming through, making phone calls, lawyers, managers, all that, all through the day. You want to understand how much hard work, like my mom, like, this is a full-time job for her and my dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something, the biggest thing that has changed in my life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just so crazy, you know, just to see everything. You know, everybody just kind of come around and just start working for you. It just, made, it, just it really humbles you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's a humbling experience, and that's why I just feel like I owe them so much, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to just keep working on working hard, you know, until this stuff pays off, and it's paying off now, so. Okay. Yeah. And what advice would you have for the next guy that wants to do the same thing that you're doing? Man, I would just, you know, say the really, I always, I know you probably, I don't want to sound cliche, but, you know, you got to keep God first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do, like, in my family. Like, even at a young age, my mom just instilled that into me. Mm -hmm. Just keep God first every morning. I mean, every night I get on my knees, I pray. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the only way you can make it through strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the devil's industry. So. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So any any way that he gonna get in, like you know what I'm saying, it's gonna try to get in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how do you keep the devil off your back though? Cause Man. that's a big old monkey to you know fight off, sir. Like, I have. That's why I keep like I keep myself surrounded with like people that I really know, like mm -hmm. my mom and my dad, like. If you can ask my mom, I can't really go nowhere without her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm, I guess you can say I'm a mama's boy, but it's not even that. It's really but just because, like, without her, I, it's just like when she's around, she just makes sure everything is going straight. She makes sure that I'm 
I'm how I need to be, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, even when we out doing interviews, I say the right things and mm -hmm. the right way. Like, you know, just like today, she's going to be out there. I'm pretty sure she's going to criticize this interview, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep me in the right track. Like, she keeps me grounded, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, you know, that's why I just keep her around me and just, she always has to be around me. No matter how big I get, I just feel like I'm going to always need my mom, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, to be there. And she really is just the person, no matter how old. I'm only 17 now, but even mm -hmm. when I'm 18, 19, she still got to be around. She mm -hmm. keeps me grounded and just keeps all the, you know, negativity away from me, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even see it. You know, she catches it before I do. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we got coming up next, though, Issa? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hearing about music. I'm hearing videos and tours. Talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of stuff, man. Uh, we got the tag video. I'm going to be walking out on 106 and Park. Be looking out for that. Tag is a record on my mixtape. Um, all my you know, fans know about that. It's a real big street record that I'm putting out. We mm -hmm. just shot the video for that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've been going back and forth on the edits and all that, making sure we get that perfect. It should be done within, like, the next week and a half, though. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that tag. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be walking out on 106 and Park. Next, we got the big old booty record mm -hmm. that is featuring Travis Porter. That's right. We're gonna shoot a video for that, a real big video for that. Mm -hmm. So, all the big old booty girls, follow me on Twitter <laughs> so I can let y'all know. Man, I need to attend that. That's right. That video is gonna be big. Then, this summer, we're jumping off some tours. It's a couple options that I have right now. I'm not sure on which one we're going with yet, but I will be on tour this summer. So, be looking out for me in your city. Okay, I mean, sure. Twitter and website. Twitter. I mean, you gotta give it to them. Twitter, man. I'm Facebook. You can you can add me on Facebook. My um, Facebook is Issa I am. But while I'm really active at, and you can really communicate with me and just you know get updated day to day, follow me on Twitter at Issa I am. Also, I'm all all day I'm posting pictures on Instagram too at Issa I am. That's if you. Oh, Instagram's on iPhone and Evo now. Mm -hmm. So you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you've never heard of me, never seen nothing of me, my YouTube, go follow me. I mean, go add my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube, Issa I am. And uh, get my mixtape too. Get both of them actually. The first one is Back to the Future, which is on thatpip.com. And the second one, the latest one, is King Issa, hosted by DJ Key and DJ Holiday. So, live mixtape, that pip, man. Go check me out, man. Oh, really? Show. Appreciate you coming through this thing, my dog. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all yes, always showing love, man. I want something for you now, man. Yes, I love sir.